<laughs> Moving on to another device uh, that maybe, may or may not, I don't know, jury's still out as far as if it's going to help a company like HTC that I think we're probably all at least in agreement to some degree. HTC is a company that personally I want to see succeed. They've done really cool things in the past. They've had a hard go the last couple of years. Well, they announced their HTC 10 device. I ordered it this morning. I, I'm supposed to get it early May, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Looks like a pretty nice device, actually. And thankfully, they changed things up, which they didn't do very much on the last iteration of their flagship. It was like, what are the major differences here? Made it really difficult to understand why you would want to buy it. This time, there are a lot of differences. Um, I mean, broad strokes, 5.2-inch. Uh, quad HD display, Snapdragon 820 processor, four gigs of RAM, micro SD card slot, your standard 32, 64 gig Same storage, Same as blah, blah, the blah. other guys. Okay, so you've got those. You've got those. Their cameras are a little different, right? Very it's the 12 megapixel HTC Ultra Pixel yes. uh, 2. Basically F1.8 aperture, so good for low light. Uh, records high-res audio, has optical image stabilization. Uh, but And this is, by the way, not just the rear-facing camera. This is also the front-facing camera. So both cameras, pretty awesome. Uh, if you're selfie-inclined, your selfies are going to look amazing. Um, let's see. What else? A, a big kind of, um, kind of heading into the high-res audio thing pretty solidly. Like, they're obviously hoping that this is a draw for some people. They've got an improved super loud headphone amp in their... Um, you Great. Know. So now when it's all the way up, you plug in your headphones, it'll be even more loud. Yeah, but it, but it'll drive nicer <laughs> headphones as, as, as a result. Um, so if you're an audiophile, that's something you might look for. I was going to ask you, since you are a musician mm -hmm. slash audio person, can you hear the difference that's a very, very political, like, that's a very oh charged gosh, question. Okay. No, no, no. I mean, it is. <laughs> like, audiophiles will probably tell you that they can. Mm -hmm. Uh you know, I, I, I produce music in an uncompressed form plenty of times, and I record it 24-bit, yeah. you know, of, I think, 48 kilohertz. I'm not doing 96 kilohertz. I certainly feel like I hear the difference. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, in in my computer recording space versus, like, bouncing it down to, yeah. like, an MP3 form or something right. like that. But it's really hard to tell. It's really hard to know exactly how much of that is up here. You know what I mean? A lot of scientific studies say that they're, they're above a certain frequency. You're not hearing anything, whether you think you are yeah. or not. And so the, the high-res audio, a lot of people think it's like smoke and mirrors as that, far as and that's I asked, That's why I asked your opinion because that was the speculation for the HTC 10 was that, oh, they're going to use this as their, their big marketing pool, mm -hmm. but it doesn't... I don't know. I mean, I mean, anybody, I would definitely say that, you know, you take something like vinyl and you take something like MP3. Yeah. Absolutely, there is a big difference. Yeah. The, the closest that you can get uh, well, to I mean, vinyl, yeah. let's say, uh, in the digital world is to increase your bit rate. Okay. And increase your sampling rate, which is kind of what they're talking about mm -hmm. here. High-res audio goes above and beyond. And then having nice hardware to support that on playback. So they're, they're certainly appealing. You know, it's kind of like the Pono player yeah. uh, that we heard about. And uh, I, I, think it, I think it just really depends on what your sensitivity is to music. Some ears, yes, absolutely. People have great hearing. They're audiophiles. They feel that they can hear the difference, and I I trust that they probably do. And if it's worth the extra money for them, then great. You kind of can. Like, I will say, I give credit to HTC because I feel like uh, with the M7 and the M8 that sort of drove other OEMs to pay particular attention to the speakers on mm, the phone. Yeah. And, sound. like, now you can get, I mean... Okay, so real talk, the Bluetooth is broken in my car right now. It's a mm -hmm. long story. So I've been literally streaming podcasts from my phone and putting it on loud, and I put it in a little cup holder to amplify it. Mm -hmm. And it works really well, and I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have been I, able to I do, do that. I do the same thing, <laughs> and I feel I've been doing the same thing for the last eight fixed, months. But <laughs> Today, my, my replacement stereo got delivered, so I have to <laughs> do this project. I like that we're all in the same, but I... We are, made, but no, I know exactly what you're talking about. It, it made me think I was... Me. I love the M8 because of how loud it was, and I could, like, listen to podcasts easily. Yeah. Um, but now I'm wondering if we're, like, reaching this... If it's still a, a marketing grab for HTC, and if they should just take a different angle and just say, hey, we're, we're dang good. Remember us? We were here from the beginning. Yeah. That's a good marketing angle. We were here from well, the what, beginning. What's weird here, too, is that they are doing all that focus on audio, but yet uh, 
the, the speakers aren't actually the, I, I think maybe they're still called boom sound, but they're not like the front facing speakers that you were just talking about anymore. So, so it's a focus That's on something right. that maybe is going to be less impactful for more people. I don't that, know, with yeah. the, the whole audio thing, uh, Jason, tell me if I'm right here. Could we, let's bring it back to booze. Would it be equivalent to saying like the $15 bottle of wine versus the $50 bottle of wine? You're going to get people who will swear they can tell the difference, but then you always wonder, if you just gave them unmarked cups and told them that this one was mm -hmm. really expensive, would they think it was better? Depends Maybe. on where the grapes were grown. I think that's a pretty good grown. analogy to a certain degree. Although I'm sure there are plenty of people who are in the chat room and plenty of people who are listening who are yelling at me right now for saying that. But I think, I think ultimately <laughs> what it boils down to is everybody has a different perception of what mm -hmm. sounds good. And there's no way for me to put my, myself into your ears and tell you what you are hearing is wrong. Um, so... I think what it boils down to is, is things sound good to different people, and if they're willing to pay the extra money mm -hmm. for it, and it, or if it, or if it's of a high high enough priority, and not to mention content, right? Like the content you're going to get through iTunes or you're going to get through Google Play, that's all compressed MP3. So if you're this doing this high res audio, you're going to have to go to a new place to get your audio files. Oh God, they're going to go to Title, uh, or they? you're going to have oh. to, you know. I don't know, capture them yourself from your vinyl in high res audio. I don't know what the me the method there is. People I think it's just that. yeah, title. Yeah, title's one one way to do that. Yeah. But um so So how I don't does know. the HTC ten sound to you guys? Uh I I'll tell you what I think is pretty Not pretty audio, awesome. Just, oh, right, well. right. In general. <laughs> Um, transition. Yes, I like it. I like it. Uh, their uh oh protection is pretty awesome for a guy who's dropped and broken They've the screens. They've had it though. They had it with uh, the last they? phone. Okay, see, and I, yeah. I completely forgot about that. But having a full year of protection when you drop the device and the screen breaks, uh, cracks. Yes, I'm very too familiar. I'm too familiar with that. But uh, that's pretty nice. Free free replacement. Uh, I I think the phone sounds very interesting, and I cannot wait to play with it. I really like Me the design either. of it too. I think it looks really nice. It's different. Mm -hmm. It does look yeah. nice. Is it different enough? Come on, guys. HTC makes nice phones, okay? They do. They you can't, do. you know, except for the HTC. And aside from Mac. just the form, you know, I think we can't underestimate or, or downplay the value of the software, too, because HTC has really been going in a good direction with that. This is closer to a, you know, stock yeah. Android kind of thing. And that's only going to help them with what we were talking about before, the yep. fact that already they were, you know, doing great, relatively speaking, with, with updates. And, and other than Google, about the only manufacturer that that was really doing respectably well and providing reliable and timely ones. And now that they're going closer to a stock approach and doing less heavy modifications to the user interface, I mean, logically, that's only going to help them get them out even faster. And everybody loves to complain about upgrades, but the truth is you kind of vote with your wallet. And HTC is the one that's doing it well, aside from you know Nexus, of course. So if upgrades are important to you, I think there's a pretty strong argument to be made to, to look at a phone like this, if not a Nexus phone, as an option. Because yeah, if, if you buy a Galaxy phone, you're going to get some nice things. You're probably not going to get fast upgrades, though. It's just No, you're not. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> your camera will report. be amazing, but your yeah. upgrades will never come. That's that's the whole point of mm -hmm. um, Samsung. <laughs> there, is no, there is no perfect world. I mean, it's, yeah, it's it's not <laughs> entirely scenario. Samsung's fault. But um, I don't know. I'm really wondering if I'm going to go back to HTC this year because I was using the 1M8 until, uh, well, until the GS6 came out. Mm-hmm. So, I think it looks pretty compelling. You can get $100 off your pre order right now. That I was also going to mention that for anybody who was interested. You can get $100 mm -hmm. off a pre order, which is nice. They have the code. Um, AT&T is not selling it, so you won't get it subsidized there. Eh. Uh, just buy, buy it, it unlocked. Yeah, you buy know, it unlocked. be free of carriers because they're all evil. The code is HTC1008, and you'll get $100 off your bill when you pre order it through HTC's device. Did that this morning. Worked. Awesome. What color uh, did you get? Did you uh, get I got the aluminum okay. or the yeah. Yeah, you didn't want to go gold. No. 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 I'm All okay. Right. All right. I'm I'm okay without the gold. The the S7 gold really turned me off. To, really? To, yes. I just I, did, I saw that and I was like, wow, I don't know if I ever want gold. Like if <laughs> if if there's the risk that it's going to end up being that gold, huh. then I'm just not even going to okay. try. I don't know, but hey. You have to Personal be a gold kind of person, gold yeah. kind of guy or girl. I'd say, yeah, true. the same. I get the, like the, the like my my Nexus Six P. It's like you get. I got black, you know, whatever yeah. they want it, graphite, whatever carbon. I forget what this one was called. <laughs> yeah. Fancy name, but yeah, sometimes Lucky. you just want something simple, <laughs> yeah. minimalist.